This is turning red. I mean, it's already red. I have fucking acne. Like. What's up everybody, welcome to my channel and for those of you who are already subscribed or welcome back. I know it's been a while, um, yeah, but I've been dealing with some roofing issues and my ceiling in my beauty room had caved in. But today in this video, we are going to be doing a chemical acid peel on my face. And I got this product off of Amazon and it is from Skin Beauty Solutions. It is a... 70% acid peel. I tried it on my stomach, which I have stretch marks on my stomach. It tingled, but it didn't burn really bad. I didn't notice any of the white bits like a lot of people that I've seen here do on say about the product. I noticed a tingle. I kept it on there for 30 minutes. They say 10, but after 10 minutes, it wasn't tingling. It wasn't doing anything. So I just applied another layer to my belly and let it sit for another 10 minutes. And then after that, I applied one more layer and let it sit for another 10 minutes. And I thought like 30 minutes would be enough. I ended up wiping it off with a cold rag. And then I used one cup of water and two tablespoons. I really liked the way that it worked on my stomach. I could feel it tingling and working. And I felt like just because it did not hurt as much on my belly, then I would try it on my face and see how it works. I just will step up a little bit and um, show you guys what I'm working with on my face. As you can see here, my cheeks are like really broken out and I have like blemishes on my face. Before I do the chemical peel, I know we all up close and personal, but before I do the chemical peel, it does say, please read all the directions before use. So I already read them, but just so you guys will know more about the product if you want to purchase it i'm gonna read it quickly to you guys so this is what the bottle looks like aha and bha peels are one of the best tools available to keep your skin looking young and fresh often referred to as lunchtime peels skin peels provide effective resurfacing results while safe for at home use they provide a mild rejuvenation without the extended downtime of a more aggressive peel although you will notice results with your first application peels work best by performing a series of peels over a two month period then after two months stop for a period of one month not following directions i.e overusing will not make your skin feel better and you risk getting irritation and burns with skin peels more is not better getting started always perform a patch test i already did in an inconspicuous area and wait 24 hours to observe the signs of irritation before using the product do not use if you are undergoing recent chemotherapy treatment wait two weeks after stopping retin a or any skin exfoliants before using any chemical or acid peels never use any peel solution around the eyes or on the lips as always, use reasonable judgment if excessive irritation and stinging occurs with this product. Rinse off immediately and discontinue. Do not use if you have sensitive skin. The depth of the peel is controlled by contact time, frequency of the application, thickness of the application, and strength of the solution. If you experience excessive irritation or skin burns after use, it is likely that you have left the solution on too long. Use the solution too often or use a solution that is too strong. Please note, skin on the nose, chin, and cheeks are generally more sensitive to acid solutions. These areas should be neutralized within two or three minutes after application to a irritation or burn. Do not use any product with fragrances or exfoliant properties for 24 hours after using the peel product. Now we get to the instructions on performing the peel. Cleanse the skin thoroughly and rinse well. I usually clean my face with this Etiquette Beauty foaming face wash. Just moisturize it with a Clarisol moisturizer or whatever or whatnot. Rubbing alcohol over face to remove any skin oils and allow to air dry. It is important to remove any oils from the skin for the peel to be effective. Wet gaze pads with one to two milliliters of peel solution and wipe over the face beginning on the forehead and outer cheeks and work your way towards the center of your face. Try to apply a thin and even layer as possible going and going easy on the delicate skin around your nose. Leave two millimeter margin between the edge of your eyes and the peel. Do not rub into skin. Continue Gently bumping for 30 to 90 seconds. For roll-on, apply a thin layer of peel to the affected area. Allow peel to remain on skin for two to five minutes, depending on your tolerance. You can fan your skin. A blow dryer on a cool setting works perfectly, but anything at hand can be used to fan air across your skin. If stinging becomes too intense, rinse face immediately. First-time users do not leave on skin for more than a minute. Prepare a neutralizing solution with two tablespoons of baking soda, a cup of water, and a bowl. The solution can be used to deactivate the peel. If you experience severe discomfort while performing the peel, simply splash neutralizing the solution on the skin to quickly stop the peeling process. Only use if necessary. What's my lips pressed that whole time? And I ooh. And I ooh. <laughs> Rinse face with 
with cool water and gently pat dry. Make sure your face is thoroughly rinsed. You should feel no stinging now. Stinging indicates the product is still active on your skin, and this can result in a burn. If you experience burns or scab, you may have used strong solution or left the peel on for longer than needed. Do not pick at scab. Apply an all-natural moisturizer as usual. When going out, avoid too much sun exposure. Wear a protective cover or use a sunscreen of an SPF 50 or higher. Your face may be a little red for a day after the peel, but this will quickly fade, and you will see results of the peel develop over the next few days as the skin sheds off. The shedding process is not usually noticeable. You do not usually peel as you would with a stronger peel, though sometimes the higher strength acids can cause peel in some sensitive areas. Chin and nose. Do not pick the peeling skin and allow it to shed naturally. Repeat every 7 to 14 days, maximum for the first month of use. Therefore, you may increase use to every 5 days or for up to 10 minutes maximum. Let's just start. I actually don't have cotton swabs, so I have cotton pads, and I feel like it will work just as well. The first place it told you to start off with is your forehead and then the outer cheek region and then work to the middle. I like to open up my cotton pad just a tad. Open up the peel. It did come with a little plastic thing in the inside but I did discard that when I used it but some into the cotton pad and start. It didn't start tingling this fast on my belly. It took a little while, so. Woo, I can feel it burning, baby. Let me get this, my timer set. Oh, and it was uh, $17.99 with free shipping from Amazon, as you can see. But I did start my timer really quick, so I don't leave this on my face too long. So, I'm gonna do, five minutes. I set for five minutes and I'm going to start it. I'm going to take another cotton ball and I'm just going to go ahead and do it one more time just so I can make sure that I have it like evenly layered on there. Oh baby it's going to burn. I think I'm going to do it just one more time just to make sure I got it like all even. And boy, it is tingling, boo. And we are going to sit up here and wait. I did feel a burn, I mean not burn, because I don't want to say burn because then I don't, that would be accurate. I didn't feel a tingling like I feel right now until like after 15, 20 minutes on my belly. So I would think that my face more sensitive than my belly is. I actually did go on Amazon because it didn't burn and I bought another THC pill for my belly because I do have stretch marks. And so if you guys want to see me do the second chemical pill, which I can do on the 8th, I think, and it gets here on the 9th. So I'll be doing it on the 9th. If you guys want to see me do that on my stretch marks and document my journey, um, just leave a comment down in the section below. And don't forget to like the video. It's, it's tinkling, but it's not really, it's not really burning like that. No, I feel it like burning right here, but that's my problem area. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this another like few minutes because I just added that other layer. It said to do not exceed 10 minutes, so we won't be doing that. I can you put makeup on after you do a chemical feel? Oh, let's Google it. Oh, and this is so cute. My sister got married in June, and all of the bridesmaids got this cute ass motherfucking robe. <laughs> I'm really liking this pill because 
it's just tingling, it's not burning, and for it to be as high as it is, I'm very surprised. But it said that it's not as um, intense as other peels, and yeah, we're just still waiting. It isn't even burning that much that I have to fan it, actually. It's just like a tingling sensation, and it's more so around these areas here. Um, but as you can see, this is like, so problematic. Oh, I was supposed to be Googling. Look, my mind be everywhere. Oh, now I've got two more minutes. Um. Somebody already Googled it. Applying makeup too soon can cause infections and other complications like irritation. If you have a light chemical peel, also known as a lunch meal peel, with a low strength glycolic acid, your doctor may say it's okay to apply your makeup the very next day. Okay, so that's cool. You feel what I'm saying? This is her I mean, it's already red. I have fucking acne. Like, it don't all up in y'all face. My camera's about to die. Oh, it's about to die. So, what we're gonna do, hurry up. And um, I kept it on here a long enough time. So, let's do this. Let's rinse it off. Oh! Now, that burned, bitch. That burned. It's a clean rack I just dumped in there, and I'm gonna lay it off her face. Um, and I'm gonna pour the rest of the solution on there and pat it on my face just to make sure that we got all of the solution off. My face does feel really tight. But the tingling is pretty much gone. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. Um, tomorrow will be the day that I post it. Um, because that'll be the day after. But I'm just gonna go get some Jurgens Ultra Healing Lotion that is very much unscented. This is what I will be using to moisturize my face. This is the first day, my first time using the Skin Beauty Glycolic Acid Peel in 70 strength I'll keep you guys updated and I'm also gonna keep you guys updated if you would like on my stretch mark journey once that peel gets here it's a more intense peel but I do want that for my stomach just not for my face um, because I do still have to go out in the world and I still want to be presentable so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I will be back with the results and to do another chemical peel on my belly for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Peace. I can't record in my makeup room because it is getting, the setting is getting replaced. They're supposed to come in tomorrow and paint and also do the floor. I'm gonna insert some clips in on all the madness. It's been down for a few months. As you can see, I have to post it on my channel in a few months. So guys, um, this is the how it looks now they came on sunday and stumped the ceiling they still have um their materials in uh, the room they still have to sand down the floor and we'll be ready they had to take a little bit of my green screen down but it really doesn't matter because i don't record that high anyway so yeah this is just how it looks my camera's about to die but i did want to document this and show why the fuck I haven't been able to record any videos from my channel. But I'll be back soon. Peace.